your window. Stand up there and be, what does he just fall? Be a lot of easier. Your little hitter never be good. I don't get that. I don't either. Yeah. Yeah. I and mean, he knows Brett really well. So. <laughs> Maybe he was waiting for the off-speed stuff. I mean, Brett did him a favor. He came down the middle twice. Yeah. That was the first one off the plate right there. Yeah. That's another one. Nice. Down in the zone. Oh my. Right. Maybe the, maybe the coach got the signal mixed up. Maybe crossed arms just don't swing down there. <laughs> More hop. Oh. Nice, he got it. Next up, shortstop, number eight, Dominic Marinelli. Softball made up that game that was suspended a couple weeks ago. Well, fortunately, he's on my way home, so I only saw two innings of play, but they won, so it was good. Where's their softball field? It's uh, right center from the baseball field. Okay, okay. It's way in the back. Gotcha. Almost on the other end of the football field or the multi purpose field, what they got gotcha. there. He throws the curve off of that. He'll sit there and take it. Yeah. Step up. Right. No, there you go. That's cool. I mean, yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I've heard that it's a bigger group this year, but. Yeah, that concerns me. Yeah, I've also like, heard it's a lot of athletes, a lot of athletes that already got commitments and locked up going to play yeah, college. Yeah, well, so, I hope that they will all. Right. Fall in line. <laughs> You know, and, and that they learned from the incident last year at Broad, Briar, Briar, uh, Briar Woods. Woods. Yeah, yeah. Um, yep. That's it. Oh, that oh was, my God. And then was I, better than the other. How does that give it to them? And I heard they were either ending up at your house or my house. Yeah, I told him. I said, you're welcome oh, no. to come back. So, Jin's Oh, his house too? <laughs> no, they're going somewhere else. They found another house. Uh, That's one vacant. One of the girls that lives in Belmont has a bigger house. Oh, they're going to go to... Not, uh, one of the, not one of the normal crew. Oh, but, not a normal crew? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> not not um, Sydney Hess. No. A girl that I, I actually I've never heard of her before. Mm. Do you have a name? Uh, Madison? Um, no. Um, okay. I just remember, if you told me the last name, I'd remember the last name. Does she play sport? Probably not. I don't know. <coughs> oh, good pitch. Just got a piece. Why, why do you have, why are you concerned with bus to the beach? Tanner's not uh, going. No, um, Laura, I've learned talking about it, and one of the members at my club owns a transportation oh, company, and he owed me a favor. Oh, yeah. Okay. And he had. Well, thanks. Thank you. All of his, uh, all of it, he has all big, big buses, like, you know, the larger ones. So we, uh, he had a buddy that had a, a few smaller ones, so we hooked that up. Nice. Well, Nice. Nice. Wow. Job, I was sad. I was sorry to hear that Tanner wasn't going. Next up, first baseman, number 44, Nick Giuliano. Is this uh, Mason's first time down to Beach Week? Yes. 
Yeah, plenty of veteran. I was, I was feeling confident with Tanner there. Tanner's gonna oversee and take care of everybody, you know? He's gonna, Tanner was really bummed. He's gonna keep everybody in line. Now I'm like, oh, jeez. <laughs> The, the boys are, well, I think they're all sort of complaining that they don't want to be stuck there without a vehicle because there's so many great things to do at Marl Beach. And, um, I'll give them an extra hundred bucks so you can take a cab. Yeah. yeah but will the they? Will they? That's well, you know what? Then they can stay where they're at. Yeah. Right. Yeah. None of them need to be driving around. So no. I'd pay a little bit more myself. Just, you know, get one of those vans, you know, the taxi vans to drive you around. Type of it could be... Fairly economically. Well, he's not. He talk, is he talking sixteen hundred bucks? You're staying down there all week? No. 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 He's going down to pick them up and then they'll. Yeah, because there, there's some kind of requirement. You can't drive more than twelve, ten hours at one stretch. So they, they're. It was one of those deals where they have they drive down, they have to stay overnight, and then drive back, and then go back down for them five days later, or whatever it is. If if you're not down there already, getting your kid out of jail. Well, that's, I mean, if, if, he's on, if he's willing to put up 1600 bucks for that, that's worth it. Because he's also picking up two, uh, two hotel nights down there also. Must be. Yeah, the way I looked at it, you're paying a guy like 20 bucks an hour. It's eight hours there, eight hours back, eight hours yeah. here, eight hours back, you know. Oh, no, it's a deal. I mean, we uh, offered to drive if, you know, we'll, we'll drive some people down it. Well, when Tanner was going to go, actually, about 23. Next up, center fielder, 23, Alon Gabriel. But Terry and I were going to actually drive down and play some golf down there just to be local. Yeah, we talked about it too. I think everybody's talked about it. Just My brother's a lawyer in Savannah, and he assured me that I wouldn't have to hear about anything. <laughs> if I keep facing I'm like, oh my god, this is horrible. Just give me some... He knows, well, how, I, he knows it, how to get a hold of me. When like, we went oh. down, a parent took us. And that was, you know, that was, 18 was legal drinking age back when I was in my beach week. And, uh, but he took us down. I had to catch a ride back because I had uh, college orientation in the middle of the uh, beach week. <laughs> wow. So I had to come back and then I took my car back down one. Did you? Oh yeah. I came home for one night for that orientation, then turned right back around and headed back down down the beach. Well the Boston College coaches had no issue with Tanner going up a little late, a few days late, but he actually has classes it's on the classes. Is he gonna be up there for Fourth of July? Mm -hmm. Because we're, we're talking about, about going, about up, going up, yeah. There you go. A Sunday in May. Well, I'm doing great. it, but I haven't I haven't gotten involved yeah. in it yet. And there's a lot of people saying the same thing. They're getting their foursome. Yep. I got two foursomes, neither one's registered yet. So. They do. Yeah. Two. Just read my read my text from the day that Okafor at uh, Duke's going into the draft as a sophomore. Really? Yeah. Well, no, I think I think they think of. Uh, maybe old. He was gonna he was gonna do that. I think oh, I he's a freshman actually. Yeah, he's only a freshman Jesus. actually, right? Him and that other kid, the um, the guard, were only freshmen. Yeah. That guard was pretty special too. Next up for the Huskies, right fielder number two, Nick Desimone. With that last year, I still can't remember where it was. It may even be dis disseminate or something. I think it might be disseminate, but don't do that unless you know. I had a lot of trouble with him last year. If it bothers him, they'll come up and tell us. That's right. What's the spelling? D I S E S I M O N E. It may be disseminate. 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 I, I know I said that at least once last year. I don't remember if it was right or wrong. No. No, I think it is something like that. That's why I hesitated. Yeah. It doesn't sound right. But he's disseminate. I'll try to disseminate the, the cheer. We know I got it right. There you go. That's I knew it. Oh, oh. God. It's terrible. That's unbelievable. We can't get this ball from second base. Ball. 
That's an error. That's an error. E four. Oh, did that get Tanner on the shin? Oh. Next up, left fielder, number five, Ben Knuff. Knuff's Knuff. Knuff is in the cave. Knuff. That's Knuff. He'll probably hit a hard ground ball to third. Yeah. Maybe short. If he, if he hits one. Oh, he's going to bunt it. That's back. He ain't going to bunt good like that. But well like that. Oh. He's got wheels, though. That's what he's got. He's got speed, yeah. He's a um, sophomore. He's on the uh, football team, starting defensive back for the football team also. Hmm. You know, if he'd given him his A movie, Adam, was he was, like, stuck in the mud there. Didn't even have to have a bunt. Play it second, we got him. That's it. Next up, number 17, Bryce Pearson. Top of the line again. They would have been better off the white numbers with a black piping. Yeah, it's a lot of red. Black numbers with a white piping. Ridiculous. <gasps> oh. Got spiked in the back. Almost. Anybody want a Starburst? I'd love one. Thank you. Thank Victor, you. Yeah. You'd probably be happy to have one too. That boy's breath. Give that boy a starburst. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now you're indebted to me. There you go. <laughs> this is usually how it starts. Oh. Over some candy wax.
Tuskegee. Softball canceled. Yeah, they're playing at Tuskegee. Yeah, they uh, apparently was good enough to play. So they don't do game changer on that team. So I don't no. understand. Yeah, I don't want to offer it because I'm not there all the time. But how is it that the girls feel? It's usually the infield's all dirt. I know. How do they play there? And the guys know. What I heard was that baseball had no chance, and softball was probable out there. That's what I heard. So go figure. Good pitch. It would uh -oh. have. To. You okay? Yeah. It would have to. Do you want to say you can? I don't like these stools. They're not, they're not real comfortable, are they? Yeah. <laughs> That's the leadoff batter. Um, this is number 15. It should be. The leadoff batter was number 17. There's two Pearson. Oh. I don't think oh, so. Yeah. There's two laces. Yeah, let me jump to the right batter so you can get caught up. What's, what guy's up? 17. Go 15. No, 17. Yeah, oh, 15. 15. 15. Yeah, no, we... yeah, I don't know how that happened. What happened out there? I just missed that play. I didn't see. The big hit to left center. Double to left center? Double to left center. Next up for the Huskies, shortstop number eight, Dominic Marinelli. Where'd that ball go, Holly? Did you guys see? It's not there. It's there. Yeah. The line drive or fly ball? Fly ball. And we didn't get to it in time? Yeah. It's pretty deep hit. Catcher number 34, Noah Lacey. Pick it up. Oh, he got him. Got you got him. Shoot, no. Oh, Can't it. pick it up. You got lucky. Fastballs or something. Aren't any non-artificial in there? Absolutely. <laughs> 
Next up for the Huskies, first baseman, number 44, Nick Giuliano. I bet I haven't had a Starburst in five, ten years. I don't eat much candy like this. pitch. I was taken off. They scored, right? Yes. Yeah. Center field, number 23, Elon Gehrig. Understood that. Forgot about it. Yep. On an island out there. I oh, know it's not like preset. Picture to the batting order that would explain it. Mm -hmm. Come on, what did you just bypass it? Scoop over them, type thing? No, you do it the same way you did for ours. So you find their DH and then you put the pitcher in underneath the DH. You don't add the pitcher to the batting order. Remember how we did that for, mm -hmm. for ours? I have a feeling that might be why. That would shuffle you down one guy. <laughs> Next up, designated hitter number four, Ryan Ahern. Oh, that's 
coach is fired up. He's mm -hmm. going down. Can't go out and visit him again. Pitch through it. Let's go, buddy. Double play ball right here. Right to John. He goes to the right side. Everything everything's been slow that direction. Five, six, eight now, yes. Next up, right fielder, number two, Nick Disseminate. I saw a woman turn and smile. Oh, they're laugh purple. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe they're like, oh God, they're so desperate, they're yeah, trying. <laughs> <laughs> they move from one faux pas to another. Yeah, I know. Well, at least we're trying. The, the day That's is right. silent. It's just Seminate. It's Simone. It's Simone. What's his first name? Nick. Just yo, Nick. He's Simone. Yeah, Nick. He's Simone. Number two, Nick. <laughs> Nick the man. Nick the D man. Pitches tonight, which is good. Some part likes down and outside of town. Next up, third baseman, number 17, Bryce Pearson.
trying to see players' breath out there. <laughs> that was a 76 pitch. This little slap swing he's got. Rolling inside. Lead off stick, right? Oh. Next up, second baseman, number 15, Joey Scove. I see someone in the bullpen, I don't know if it's legitimate or if they're just over there throwing that. They'll probably come with what, the Fuller kid? They come with anybody? I mean, who's pitching tomorrow? <clears throat> I guess if Zafaragas would start. I'm not going to be playing tomorrow. Yeah, it's Mark. Yeah, it's going to be like get rough. 50 chance all day, isn't it? Stop the shortstop, number eight, Dominic Marinelli. Name. Decimo. Decimo. Yeah, is that you? I couldn't find yeah. it. Mike. Good. Well, he said it the first time he said Decimo. He was just closing up. <laughs> he signed him, I think, or Decemi, I think. Decemi. I mean, I'm to ways. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Horn was boundary, right? right? <laughs> that was our next attempt, was it going to be Decimo? Decimo. Well, I've heard Decimo, Decemi, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. so. We're good. I appreciate it. That's right. I come up here again and warm up. That's nice. Uh, 
I made a pitch here. Finish it. Come on. Finish it. Right to him. I feel right to him. Mason will be pissed. 